Get in the TARDIS, you dirty pig. Hello, everyone. Welcome to not the Peter Davison years. It is the Shooty Gatwa years. It is a very exciting video. I'm joined with Mel. Hello, I'm back. To talk about the recent unexpected, well, not unexpected news. Um, we knew it was coming, but not so soon because we have our new doctor. Who is our new doctor, Mel? Shooty. From Sex Education, which we've yes. both seen, which shock horror a doctor who fan has seen sex education whatever next i mean well, netflix subscriptions are going to rise now because people are going to be checking out sex education the whole filmography of shooty very excited for them uh, to experience all that stuff but yeah we're going to give our thoughts on shooty gatwa as doctor who um so the announcement very low-key to what we normally yeah. had it was just Normally we get like a big sort of grand live show going, here is your new doctor, um, like a chat show type thing. And then you've had like a little reveal video or a confidential. This time it was just shooting on Instagram going, yeah, here's two hearts and a plus and a blue box. And there we have our new doctor. And we've got Russell commenting saying the future is here. And oh boy, future is here as we have Shuti Gatwa as our doctor. Um, and great time for them too, because it was BAFTA, so free promotion. It's a sin was up for nominations, and of course, sex education. So, hey, prime time. So, what do you think of the news of Shooty Gatwa being Doctor? Oh, honestly, I'm so excited for it because I love him in Sex Education as Eric. Like, he's such a funny actor. Like, he his comedy is absolutely golden. But then he also has the power to take us on that emotional journey as well, especially as Eric in Sex Education, like watching his journey through that show, it just makes you so emotional. And he brings moments that a lot of people can relate to in their personal lives. And hopefully he will be bringing that into Doctor Who. And I just think it's going to be so remarkable and it's bringing so much representation and for a whole new audience he's bringing in people who are now thinking oh i'm gonna watch that because they know him from sex education he's a big name i wouldn't say i wouldn't say he's like a big i wouldn't say like he's a big name i think he's not like big name as in like everybody knows him, but he has a lot of followers i think for sex education yeah for like his age group he's got like a big yeah following. he's got like millions of followers on instagram he's got about 2.6 mil on insta but you've done your research um i'm sorry right, last night <laughs> okay there you go um but yeah i feel like he's sort of not an unknown actor but i feel like he's coming at the right time where he's becoming a big enough star now where he can go yeah. either way and he's chose to be the doctor and he's the last person russell auditioned for and my god it's, oh, it's really yeah he's the last person who was auditioned for the role and bam here he is he is the doctor wow. he's at the helm of the tardis now um but yeah i i've sat on the news i was like i was happy because i liked him um but i think now i've sat on it got my thoughts together i'm really excited because when i first one was like oh yeah cool choice um, yeah. You know, I didn't see the doctor just yet, but now I've seen like the fan edits and all that sort of stuff. I and because he doesn't quite look like what you have for a doctor, because Capaldi, you instantly thought that's the doctor. Whereas yeah. with him, I'm like, oh, okay. But it feels very on brand with Russell, with like Eccleston, because yeah. he doesn't fit the doctor lineup as such. And I think that's what's exciting the unknown about Suti's doctor. Um, but he has said that he's going to be fabulous, and I can see it because he's a fabulous man. He's a he's a genuine heartwarming guy. I think. Hundred um, percent. I think he's going to bring a lot of warmth and enthusiasm to the role, and just really just make people love the Doctor. Because like, obviously, everybody loves the Doctor anyway. Like they may have questionable moments from time to time, but everybody loves him at the end of the day. But. I just think like he's such a warm and bubbly person and he's the sort of person that you just want to be their friend like he seems he's like quite he's infectious a great guy he's just infectious i think that he's just yeah. inspired a bit of casting and i think 100%. that shooty is very much the doctor for you in a way because i feel like you've you've watched eccleston you've watched a bit of ten and and you've watched the odd two jody but I feel like yeah. Shooty's the first person who's probably got you. Oh, I, I want to check it out. Oh, 100%. Because 
obviously I've always been interested to see every single doctor's portrayal like I still want to see everybody but I think when it's somebody that you know it hits different because you're like oh it's such an iconic role and it's somebody that I know I want to see how they do it and I think because it's Russell coming back as well I think that's another thing because Obviously, I absolutely love Eccleston and Eccleston's series. I think that's an absolutely remarkable series. And obviously, it's my first series I watched. Very memorable. So for Shooty to be coming into the show and also with Russell, it's such a good power dynamic that I just think it's going to make excellent TV. I mean, they've already become a sort of like a nice little duo on like the red carpet at the BAFTA. So yeah. it's just like really quite heartwarming seeing them two together. That was so cute. Like it's seeing so the little good. photos of them and last night on the red carpet, I was like, my heart can't take this. It's just, it's it's made me excited because we're probably not going to hear for a long time now and more about Shooty and RTD2 because we've still got Jodie to say goodbye to. But I'm I'm ready to say hello to <laughs> Shooty's doctor at this point. Hey, Jodie. I mean, it's just exciting. I think that's the thing. It's just that excitement of that unknown. What's it gonna be? What what stories can Russell tell now in the twenty twenties? Really, um, I think yeah. that it's gonna be his writing's improved. It to sin was phenomenal television. Um, but I think the big question is, what suit he gonna wear? That's the next question. What what can you see him? Because you know you like your fashion. What can you see shooting? Yeah. Wearing? Well, the two fan edits that I've seen that you've shown me, I one was like wearing like very like sort of like traditional sort of like capaldi sort of vibe, like with the coat and everything. And I did like that vibe, but then there was also one of him edited into Colin's fit. And I was like, yeah. wow, like he looks insane in that. So I feel like kind of like a mixture between them. So like the bright colours and everything of Colin. But the style of Capaldi, like the long coat sort of vibe, and like just a classic sort of doctor, but bringing in that colour to show off his warmth and enthusiasm, because I just think he is a really colourful person. Like he just brings like joy and radiance, and I feel like that needs to be reflected in the costume. I mean, so I think his whole like that. his whole wardrobe is quite extravagant. So I feel like anything could go with what we could get. I, I definitely want something colourful. I definitely think something bright yeah. and something pop, something eye-catching, really. Well, if so. we think about even his fa- fashion in sex education as yeah. Eric, like, he can literally pull off anything. So that is I true. Think no matter what, like, the costume department choose to put him in, and he's going to look phenomenal. Oh, for sure. Do you think we're going to get him battling the Daleks straight away, or do you think we're going to be waiting for him to get, like, the old monsters, or do you think it'd just be the new stuff? I don't know. I kind of want to just seem like, not get like thrown in at the deep end, but like, I just want to see. Like, I mean, he's been thrown in the deep end it. in a way, because it's like the 60th year. Uh, we're still oh, yeah. Time. So he's thrown in the deep end right there, because it's like big, bold, oh, yeah. anniversary, crappy pants type stuff. <laughs> I know, because I can imagine that he's probably been a fan of the show before and stuff. And then to be not just being in the show, but to be taken on the actual role of the Doctor, that is big hands to fill. That is an iconic British role for him to be going into that. And I just think he's going to do it absolutely justice and he's going to be amazing. So you're excited to see him? Oh, I mean, if this video doesn't like show how excited I am, like, I I was literally, I was in work and I saw the announcement in my family group chat because my mum had sent it in and I was like, she was like, who is this? And I was like, oh my gosh, it's Shooty, it's in sex education. She was like, oh, I've not seen that. But even they're excited for it, just to see like a new face. It's something different, role. isn't it? You know? Yeah. It's very different to what's gone before. I mean, I thought it would be a lady doctor again. I thought we'd continue that yeah. sort of trend. Um, but no, it is Shooty. And I am yeah. very, very excited for it, actually. I, I feel like my doc two spark's been reignited i'm like wow this is going to be something special russell you never rare. lost your spark no but i feel like <laughs> i just feel reinvigorated by it you know so mm. i'm i'm buzzed for it and i think yeah that's all we can really say it's exciting it's an exciting time that's been yeah. our thoughts on shooty gatwa is our new doctor i just can't wait to like see photos of him or like behind the scenes and well apparently they start filming this week i think (gasps) 
That's so really exciting. We're not going to see anything because they're, they're going to wait for Jodie to, to go and then you'll be sick of hearing it. We might have the Christmas episode back. I hope so. I hope That'd so. be amazing. That'd be amazing. Watch um, out for mill reviews on that. Well, fingers crossed. Well, yeah, you can start reviewing the whole shitty Gatler era. Oh my gosh, I could do. <laughs> Guys, if you want to see me react, well, not react, but no, a review of anymore. every single week's episode when Shooty comes into it, leave a comment below so I can go through the episode, give my thoughts on it each week, and it'll be uploaded the day after each episode drops. So put a comment in below if you'd like to see that. I mean, you've been waiting a long time for it, but you know, it's going to be worth it. It's Russell. Yeah. And Doctor Who has got a bright future ahead. The future is here. And I think that's a good yes. way to close this video. We're both excited. Shooty, good luck to you. We're looking good forward luck. to it. You're going to smash it. Oh, he is. He is. He doesn't need our, us to say it, but he's, he's going to smash it out right no. from the park. He's got this. So, yeah. Thank you, Mel, for joining for this little video. Thank you for having me. Pleasure as always. And yeah, I'll see you whenever. Um, we might see you for another mail review. Who knows? Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.